Hey guys, it's Mark here, and uh, with this recording, I'm going to show you how to set up your personal custom business email address uh, within Gmail so that you can send messages from uh, that special address within Gmail. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. First thing is, as you can see here, I've created this uh, example, test1 at setmysite.com. This is going to be the email address that I'm going to try and set up in Gmail. Uh, the first thing I want to do is set this email address to forward to my Gmail account. So I'm going to click on forwarding options, add forwarder, I'm going to add my Gmail account here. Okay, so now it says uh, any messages that get sent to test1 at setmysite.com are now going to be copied to markyshell at gmail.com. Great. So now I'm going to go over to my Gmail account and I'm going to click on the settings button, which is over here. I got to drag this thing over here. I'm going to click on settings and I'm going to go to accounts and I'm going to set set up another email address as my own alright so for the name I'll just call it test1 for the email address I'll say test1 at gmail I'm sorry setmysite.com I'm going to unclick that hit next step send through gmail we're going to go ahead and leave that there uh, this is the easiest way, preferred way to set this up. Hit next. And it says before I can send mail as test one, I need to verify my account. So I'm going to click the send verification. And I can do two things here. Depending on whether you have access to this area, which is the webmail powered area, uh, you can go to you can go to this address here and then you can verify it through here. The other option is, so here's a confirmation code here, right? The other option is, since we've already set this account to forward, you can simply click on your inbox in Gmail, and you should see it here since it's already set to forward. So you don't even need to access your webmail application. All you need to do is have access to your Gmail account, so long as your email address is already set to forward. And here's a confirmation code. I'll copy that. I'll verify my address. And that's really all there is to it. So let's try something now. If I were to compose a message now, you can see all my different aliases. And then I have this one as well test1 at site.com. So now, I can send messages from this particular address right through my personal Gmail account, which is really convenient. The last thing I want to show you is, <clears throat> excuse me, go back to settings and go back to accounts. You also have the ability to create one of your additional email addresses as a default address so that no matter what happens, if you reply to it, well, not if you reply, but if you create a new message, like Let's say I hit compose. By default, it's going to say from mark at setmysite.com as opposed to my personal email address, which is markyshell at gmail.com because I use my business address much more. So I want that to be my default address. Uh, and if that's the case with you, you can take your new email address that you've just set up and simply click make default and you are good to go. That's all there is to it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial.